Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly create consistent um, color and thresholds across multiple layers. So for instance, here we have 1990, which we went ahead and created a custom color ramp in. And I don't want to have to go through all that process for 2000 and 2010. So one way to do this is go ahead to one of the ones that is uh, one of the layers that's not done yet. And we can double click, go to our symbology. We're going to go to quantities. And then in this upper right here, we have this import button. So uh, you can import a saved template from someone else or one that you've created, but you can also import symbology definition from another layer in the map or from a layer file. And in this case, we can then go down to the layer and we can pick it. So I have this population per square mile gradient and I want the complete symbology definition and I can click OK. So now uh, they wants to know, well, what field? Um, so I can scroll down and in the, if you had your fields named the exact same, then it shouldn't give in you this option. But if you don't, in this case, just say there was an error putting in pop den square mile. So I can just select that and I can click OK. And immediately then I can hit apply and OK. And one way then that we can compare these is I can turn them on and off. And you can see above and below then you know, the subtle changes in where population density might be going. Um, and then you can again go to the last layer, check that one, double click, and you can go to import. And then I can go back to that population per square mile gradient. Click OK. Complete symbology again. I can go down, make sure I got the right field, click OK, hit apply and OK. And there you have how to very quickly and efficiently sync up your um, symbology for consistency for your comparisons. That concludes this video. Thanks.